Okay, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be doing kind of a affordable makeup look. And these are the products that I'm going to use to do this look. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take my foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the shade 600 of Cinnamon. I'm going to list everything in the description box down below if you guys want to check out the products, um, the list of products that I use to achieve this makeup look. So the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of start off with a thin layer of that foundation. I'm just going to work it in with this e.l.f. stippling brush. And I'm just going to go in with a thin layer of foundation first just to kind of see what the foundation can cover before I go in with my concealer later. So I'm just gonna kinda work this shade in all over my face um, and kinda save like the outer portion of my face for a darker shade of foundation. Next, I'm going to go into this darker shade of foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the color C9. And I'm just going to kind of use that to work um, into the areas that I left, I guess, without foundation, the outer portion of my face. Next, I'm going to go into my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Cappuccino. And I'm just going to go in and cover up any, um, any of those dark spots that I didn't get with the foundation. I'm also going to cover any scars that I have on my neck as well. I'm gonna just cover up any dark circles, any dark spots. I have a pretty problematic skin. I have like a lot of acne scarring and a lot of kind of hyperpigmentation around my mouth and everything like that. So I just kind of take my time and just kind of make sure that I cover everything with the um, concealer. One thing that I do like about this concealer is that it's pretty orange and it helps to kind of um, combat the darkness on my face. And next I'm going to go in with the same concealer but in a different shade, the shade Mocha. And I'm going to use that to cover any dark spots that I have on the upper half of my face. And the shade Mocha is darker than um, Cappuccino. So that's why I'm using it on like the upper portion of my face that I use to um, cover with that darker foundation. Now I'm just going to take like an angled um, blending brush to just kind of buff that concealer into my foundation.
Okay, so now that I have concealed um, basically everything that was peeking through my foundation, I'm just going to kind of go in with like another thin layer of foundation just to kind of make everything cohesive to kind of blend in that concealer a little bit more to my foundation. I'm gonna also kind of bring it down my neck to blend everything in together. So this foundation is pretty red on me. I'm also gonna correct some of that redness um, with a little bit of color pigment that you use to mix with your um, foundation. And I'm also going to take some of that darker foundation shade and work it down my cheekbone so that my foundation isn't so flat. This is just going to kind of help to give my foundation a little bit more dimension. And I'm also going to take that same shade that um, L'Oreal C9 and bring it down my nose. And I'm just going to flip up my piercing so that I, so that I don't get any um, foundation all over my, my jewelry. And I'm just working some more of that Revlon foundation in the center of my face in the shade 600 Cinnamon. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of that mixing pigment in the color yellow in my LA Girl um, concealer in the shade chestnut and I'm going to mix it together so that I can get a little bit more of a golden tone in the center of my face. If you look at my chest and like my hands my undertone is a little bit more golden so that's why I like to go in with a little bit of yellow pigment to kind of bring that um, yellow tone back to my skin tone. It's kind of hard to explain but the more you kind of see me you know blend that yellow in with that concealer the more it kind of makes sense what I'm doing Here I'm just using my foundation brush, um, not with any extra product or anything. I'm just going to kind of take that foundation brush and just kind of use it to blend out any harsh lines. And I'm also going to take whatever is left over on that little brush that I used to blend out that concealer to kind of carve out my cheekbones a little bit. Next, I'm going to go into my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Espresso, and I'm just going to use that to deepen up any contours that I created earlier. And I'm just going to use that concealer brush again to just kind of carve out my cheeks and everything a little bit more. I'm also going to take that L'Oreal um, shade in the shade um, C10 and kind of work that down the bridge of my nose and on my brow bones. Or, or on the, the whatever that part of your face is called, the center of your face.
and I'm gonna do my brows off camera using this um, gel eyeliner from LA Girl. Now I'm just gonna blank out my eyelids with a little bit of that concealer in um, Chestnut, the LA Girl concealer. And this is the eye palette that I'm gonna use on my eyes today. So I'm going to take this shade right here and just kind of buff that in to the crease of my eye and just kind of a little bit above the crease of my eye as well. And the brushes that I'm going to be using in this video, all of the products, I'm going to put a list of everything down below in the description box. Now I'm just going to take like a fluffy blending brush to kind of work out any like harsh lines that I created. Now I'm going to go into this shade right here with a kind of small tapered um, blending brush and kind of work that shade right underneath that first shade. I'm going to focus this color in the outer V of my eye and just kind of also kind of work it into the center of my lid and also kind of towards the inner crease of my eye. And I'm going to go back in with that same blending brush to kind of blend out any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here. And this is like a dark shimmer. Um, the darkest of the three shimmers that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to kind of use that as the base for the other shimmers that I'm going to use. Then I'm going to take this shimmer at the top and kind of pop that right onto that first shade just to kind of intensify it. And I'm going to intensify it even more using this shade in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to deepen the outer V of my eye using this shade here. And I'm going to go into that very first shade with the same brush and just kind of make everything a little bit more cohesive. And I'm going to go into this shade here and just kind of blend in that deeper co uh, color in the outer V with the rest of my eye. Next, I'm going to take this highlighter by Morphe and I'm just going to kind of um, work that into like the peak of my cheekbone. And I'm going to also add some highlighter on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and also the peak of my lip.
and also on my brow bone as well. Then I'm going to take my MAC setting spray and use that to kind of gel everything together. And lastly, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild um, mascara and use this to kind of intensify my lashes. I'm not going to go in with any type of lashes or anything, any falsies. I'm just going to stick with this mascara. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.